Often, when entering a password, you need to ensure that the password is known. There are a number of ways to do this. First, you could cause the client to enter the password into two separate fields, compare the two values, and indicate if they match or not. Two, you could reveal the last typed character for a short duration, then hide it, along with any other previously typed characters. Or three, provide a means for showing the password and hiding it again, which allows the client to visually confirm the password which was typed. This short video will demonstrate a simple JavaScript method for doing the last option. This example is stored in codepen.io for review and use. The link is provided in the description. On the left is a very simple form. It only consists of a label, a password input, and a span, which will be used as the toggle mechanism to reveal or hide the password. Because this is CodePen, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are linked by default. If this were a web page, the three documents would have to be linked using code. In the form, note the type of password and ID of P word for the input, and the ID of PSWD button for the span. These are important for the functionality. The CSS is very simple and will be hidden for the remainder of the video. The JavaScript is the focus of the video. Line 1 is a variable, which stores the reference to the span element in the HTML form. Line 2 establishes an event listener on the span. The event being listened for is click, which is triggered when the mouse clicks on the target or if the enter or return key are pressed when the target has focus, usually by being tabbed to. If the click event occurs, the anonymous function, the second parameter in the event listener, is executed. Line 3 is a variable, which stores the reference to the password input. Line 4 captures the value of the type attribute of the password input. By default, the type should be password. Line 5 checks to see if the value is password. If so, lines 6 and 7 are executed. Line 6 changes the value of the type attribute to text. This removes the bullets in the input, revealing the text characters. Line 7 changes the text of the span from show password to hide password. Line 8 is a simple else statement that is executed if the input type is anything other than password. This causes lines 9 and 10 to execute. Line 9 changes the input type to password, replacing any readable text with bullets. Line 10 changes the text of the span from hide password to show password. Line 11 ends the else. Line 12 closes both the anonymous function and the event listener. As you can see, the JavaScript is rather simple, but allows the client to verify the password. It could be used during a registration process, as well as any other situation where the client has need to see what would otherwise be hidden.